Hi, so I wanted to do a little video here to um, show uh, a potential user error that sometimes pops up. Um, and it's to do with measuring the external wall perimeter um, and also window areas and by file doors in particular. So um, what happens if I kind of work backwards here is that if you go on uh, it, towards step on step nine, uh, you may find that you get a minus figure for the watts uh, for an external wall. In this case, of the the kitchen is an example, but of course it could be any room. Um, and what we're doing here, the software says you should be checking the following rooms for user errors. But of course, um, historically, we don't actually say what the error is, we just point out there's an error. So this video is going to um, sort of guide you through that sort of like process. Um, and essentially, um, what I think highlighting the fact that there's a minus figure here means that clearly there, there is a, there's a there's an issue with the external wall. So um, that happens because the user hasn't entered in the total external wall perimeter. So I've great to, got this photograph here. And so if you're actually in the kitchen, it's really important to um, uh, measure the, the full length of the external wall perimeter um, even though um, in this case the majority is from the bifold doors um, because you'll end up getting a minus figure in the external wall heat loss um, if you only just measure that kind of like short section there um, because what our software does and I'll just come back to here so if actually you place yourself in this kitchen here you're going to be using your laser tool to measure the window areas um, and in this case we've got four windows we're adding them up there so we've got 1.78 um, and then, of course, we've got the bifold doors as well, which essentially they are windows, really. Um, um, uh, and in this case, we've got the as a got the result as a six meter squared, um, and then the total external wall perimeter. So we're using the plus button on the laser tool, so we're adding both 4.5 and 4.3 together, so we've got 8.8 .8 meters together. So this is a, the, the typical information that is that is entered into the app accurately, um, but as I just shown in this photograph here, some users won't actually take on board the total external perimeter here where the bifold, bifold doors are. So um, it is important to include it here. So this is what I've done in this example here. So that's 4.5 meters, but in certain cases, users might only do this small sort of section here, um, but please include the whole external wall perimeter. I think the key word here is, is actually perimeter, um, external perimeter. Um, so what our soft software does, if the information is entered incorrectly, is that, OK, so you've got the total window area given the total door area, and then we have the total external wall perimeter area. And that's calculated by the total 8.8 .8 meters um, for uh, both the kind of the width and the length of the room and then times by the room height. So I've used the typical room height of 2.4 meters high. And then that gives us the total external wall perimeter area. And then what we're doing is just taking that perimeter, external perimeter area and then subtracting the total window area and the door area from that total, which in this case gives us a value of 13.34. Now, if I didn't, if I didn't actually add that, um, if I didn't add the total external wall perimeter here and I only measured a little bit here, Clearly, my value um, for the external area is going to be a lot smaller. And if it ends up being too, um, a, a, certainly as a minus figure, then that's when we end up getting a minus figure in the heat loss result for that particular wall. So that's that's why that, that happens. Of course, in the background of the software, you don't actually see these numbers crunching. Um, but I wanted to sort of like show you what what the software does to calculate that. Um, so in order to sort of get around that, you know, we need to make sure that we are including the total external perimeter um, and uh, we could go back. So if we look at this example here, we've got minus 27.22 watts. So if I went back to, say, step uh, step four, um, or was it step three? Um, so we'd actually find uh, the external perimeter here is 2.2 meters, but we've got massive window area here of 8.8. .8, so we can say it's the you know, bifold doors. Um, you have to excuse me because this drawing is not the same as, as um, this particular drawing here is not the same as this example here, but you, you still you still get the idea. So I need to increase this value here um, because I forgot to enter in the total external wall perimeter. 
So what I do is I plug in the correct answer, which should be 5.8. And then what will happen then the software will be 5.8 meters times by 2.4, which give us the total external wall perimeter. And then our software will subtract 8.8 .8 meters squared. Um, and then as a result of that, our, our we, we, we eliminate that kind of green minus green figure there. So, um, and everything's good. So I'm hoping that sort of clarifies it. Again, just go to the, the kind of uh, the final sort of picture here, just to reiterate that. Please remember to measure the total external wall perimeter, um, and then you will not get that particular uh, error here. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers.